Hello, my name is Riley, and I work with small business owners um, to help them learn how to use the internet to market their business. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to do a Google brand page. So as you can see, I am here I am on uh, google.ca, and I've logged into a dummy account that we're going to use for our purposes today. So you just type in Google My Business, as you can see I've typed it in before, and uh, you come to this page and sometimes you'll see an ad right now I'm not seeing one but I've seen one before and you want Google My Business but you could also go to other pages there but Google My Business is where you want to start and here we'll t tell you the reasons to have it which we don't really need to go into because I've, I've obviously written about that so uh, you just want to sign in if you um, are already logged in or haven't signed in yet uh, get on Google is a different story. You, if you don't have a Gmail account, this is more of an issue, but we will uh, deal with that. If you have a question, you can leave a comment um, and we can talk about it. So, uh, here you want to choose your business type. So, if if it's a physical place, you want a storefront. If it's, uh, as it says, it's pretty straightforward. If you're a plumber, pizza, uh, pizza delivery, if you have some kind of region that you're servicing, you want a service area. Uh, but if you have neither of those, you want a brand. Now, um, let's just pretend that this is for my digital marketing business. So I'm going to pick brand. And you can say digital. I'm going to say Riley Haas Digital Marketing, which I'm going to delete later because it's, uh, um, you know, not something I want to say because I have another an actual page, but so I just put in my website um, product or or brand. Uh, you could be entertainment community or other, but I am a product or brand, specifically a brand in this case, and we create a page. Uh, or we would create a page if you if I had agreed to the terms and conditions. Of course, you got to do that, <laughs> and then you create the page. And uh, there's a tour you can do. I'm not going to do that this time, but you could. You should probably do that. Um, so this is this is it. Uh, this is what you've uh, created, and you can see that uh, you can edit various things. Uh, it wants me to learn about Google Plus. I don't care about that. So. Um, we have the photo here. Uh, this this profile photo could be you if you're your own brand. Um, if you're not your own brand, you need to think of something that say represents that that's a reasonable size. This other photo is a cover photo, and it would be good to say if it was if you uh, say you're an accountant and you have an office, maybe a picture of your office or something like that, or your sign out front or something. Uh, the problem with this one, though, is that the dimensions are really wacky, so you're going to have to take a really high-resolution photo, and you may have to adjust the settings on your camera when you take it, because it's going to need to be a wide photo um, that's not that tall, or if you do take a regular size photo, you're going to need to be able to crop um, some of it, the top of it, because otherwise you'll have to stretch it, and that can get uh, be a pain in the ass. Um, so the basics are fairly straightforward. Um, this this is more Google Plus, the people, but the story is you just want to put in, you know, maybe your unique value proposition, uh, or your or some slogan you have or motto, and then a little bit again you could put your unique unique value proposition in the introduction instead, uh, and you do that just by clicking Edit here. And then down in contact information, this is where you, the important part, um, where you would put your uh, your phone number, and so forth. So we just go in there. See, you can put in a phone number, and uh, that is uh, if if you have more than one website, where you wanted to include some other information, you would put it in here. Now I'm just going to exit the Google Plus tab. If we go back to Google My Business, uh, you can see that they will actually, once you have this set up, they will tell you 
the views you're going to get, the the action on your Google Plus posts and followers in Google Plus, which are both kind of not what you want to do this for. And then you can set it up with, you can uh, hook up your Google Analytics to it. That is the gist of it. Um, if we go over to Insights, you can see a little more detail of what would be there had I had this page in existence. Um, there's a lot of background on the sort of Google Local, Google Plus, Google Business uh, snafu that's gone on over the years, but that's something that uh, is not really a topic for this. Basically, the important thing is you you come in, you set up a brand page, and then um, hopefully you are able at some point to get some customers to review you, and then you will be found. Um, which is the important thing and why you're doing this in the first place. Thanks for listening.